My name is Lucinia Santos, and I am a designer with the IBM Cloud. <clears throat> and today we're going to give you a quick overview of the new service by name IBM Cloud Foundry Enterprise Environment, which is available in the IBM Cloud and allows customers uh, enterprises to create Cloud Foundry environments that are isolated with them, with them as the only single tenant and on demand, meaning that they can create as many as of them as they need and discard them also on demand. Where can they find this service? It's in the IBM Cloud. If you go to, IBM, uh, to the IBM Cloud, you can go to the catalog uh, and uh, you'll see it at the very top of the page being a new feature service. It is right here on the, on the tile. If you click on it, you will be taken to a, um, uh, to, the, to an overview page, like all the services, telling you a little bit about the service, what it does, where it can, which regions can be deployed, some links to some of the documentation, and then uh, you're taken to the page where you actu actually provision the environment. It is provisioned on Kubernetes infrastructure, and uh, uh, which you can customize a little bit at the end. Uh, all you need to do really when you're here is to provide a name, and with a click of a button, you have a running Cloud Foundry environment. There are a couple of things that are, are more details we don't need to go through in detail, just to let you know that uh, there is also, as part of creating a service, you need to have some permissions that you need to be given by, by your account administrator so that uh, you, uh, enterprises have control over who can create this. So one of the things that we tell you right at the top is, do you have the right permissions? And if not, we tell you about it. And you, that means that you need to get that permission. If, and this showcases the fact that I don't have certain permissions, so which means I cannot create it. Here on the right, you see uh, uh, we display a number of services, supporting services, uh, Kubernetes, Cloud Object Storage, and uh, Compose for Postgres SQLs. If I had the right permissions, I would click Create, and I would be creating the service. That is, it takes, uh, um, it takes some time to create the service, so we don't need to go through that. When you say Create, you are taken to this page, but instead of seeing the, the environment itself, so obviously since it's been created, you're being shown, you're being told uh, that the creation is in progress. When that provisioning is complete, you are taking, the, the page is replaced by what you see here, which is an overview of the environment, telling you right away what kind of memory is being used, um, allocated versus reserved, how much CPUs, CPU is, is being used, how many cells there are, um, something that you obviously customize when creation, you can decide how many cells you have. The default are two, but you can choose to have additional cells when you create the, the environment. Uh, we also tell you a little bit about, uh, about the number of applications that are deployed, the application, number of application instances, services, number of users, number of organizations, and so on. In addition to this overview page, you obviously can manage your organizations, you can create organizations, and in this case, we have a number of them created already. Uh, when you open an organization, we give you a sort of a similar overview page specific to that organization, how many users, what is the quota, and that, uh, that that organization has, um, how many members you have, and how many of them are have a, any, a particular kind of role. You also see for that organization the number of users. You can obviously create easily uh, um, uses, uh, members of that organization and assign a role. You have the number, the, the list of spaces in that organization. Same way you can create additional spaces and assign um, members to them directly or a later time. You also see the domains that are specific to that, uh, to that organization. You can create domains and upload uh, SSL certificates. This is for organizations. This is where you manage your membership, your organizations, your spaces. Your spaces, in addition to the standard CF capabilities in, in here, we also have additional views that allow you to monitor things like resource usage. So we have a resource usage tab in the left navigation, uh, and you have two views of resource usage, one by applications and one by cells. Here in the applications view, you get a list of all the applications, their instances, how much memory, uh, physical and reserve, they are, are, those applications are consuming. Um, the same with the CPU. 
and uh, both in terms of uh, in terms of relative to the cell and in terms of the overall capacity of the system things like the the, uh, the number of requests and the organization where that application um, belongs when you expand an application you see the actual instances of that application and you also see at the top uh, some visualization of of that resource usage you can select one or more to see if you want to compare or find out which applications are using the most, the most uh, resources. And similarly, you have a similar view, but from the perspective of the cells. You have a list of all the application instances and the cell under which they are running. You also have a visualization of the memory, breakdown of memory and CPU, um, again, relative to the cell. We also have a series of views that allow you to, uh, to monitor the environment. We have, out of the box, we install open source tools like uh, Prometheus and Grafana to be able to uh, analyze the performance and to be able to define alerts for certain, certain events. Uh, we also provide views for uh, health check to find out uh, the, um, the, the health of the various components. We also allow you to upgrade the version as, as the service moves forward and is updated you can decide when to update the service to a new version. You can also scale up. If you want to add additional cells, you can easily add a cell uh, when, when uh, the, your organization demands it. Uh, so this is sort of a, a view of uh, a, a CFI, a, an environment-specific view. We also have an overall dashboard being in the cloud. By the way, one of the things that I, I should mention is that something that, that is advantageous for, for the the services for being in the cloud is the services we allow you to add services that are already in the IBM cloud. So this is a particularly valuable aspect of being integrated in the IBM cloud. And I think that's all we have time for. Thank you very much for your attention.